Everyone's ready. So good morning. It is Monday morning and we're going to start on our feet as we usually do. And today's class is a bit of a flowy class, especially for my beautiful friend Nancy. It's her birthday today. And so, um, yeah, we'll start on our feet. Let's probably just begin this morning with some nice big inhales and exhales. Ah, so a big inhale through the nose and we'll just let the first couple out through the mouth. Ah, maybe some shakes, any kind of little movement. Hmm. So just bringing ourselves to this moment that we are in. Hmm. Starting to ground down through the feet. I'm going to open my toes nice and wide. Big L feet, I like to call them. I'll separate my toes. Place them down. Bringing my weight from the front of my feet and bring my weight back over my heels. Tucking the chin a little, feeling the back extend up towards the ceiling. Hmm. Returning back to the breath. I have my eyes closed, but you can have your eyes open or closed. And connecting to the earth, to, but also just to this moment in time. Relaxing all the, relaxing the face. Relaxing the belly around the shoulders, even the pelvic floor. So are you holding up? Are you clenching up a lot? Like you're like holding a key almost and then let all those areas relax. And we can open our eyes, notice how you feel, if that made any difference just how you feel both physically and mentally. Hmm. And now we'll just do a little bit of movement, just a little shape this morning. Arms up in the air. A little wiggle. I still have my feet firmly planted on the earth. Hmm. And exhale, come down. We're going to do that a couple of times, just bringing the arms up and out towards your sides. And we're going to bring the hands down into prayer in front of us. And on the exhale, you come down. And on the inhale, you come up. Mm, exhale down. Inhale up. Nice and slow, very intentional movement. So just paying attention to movement. And one more time up and exhale down. Open arms wide now to your sides, out to the sides. Bring the shoulder blades to bring your arms back. So squeeze the shoulder blades together. And then cross over the arms at the elbows, bend the elbows. So kind of like an eagle pose here. You can come into full eagle if you want, but I like having the forearms coming towards each other, feeling that space being created between the shoulder blades moving the arms up towards the, or the fingers really up towards the ceiling. And then we're gonna kind of sit, you can stay here, but if you want, we're gonna sit back in a chair. So just as though you're gonna sit back and you don't have to go all the way back as deep or anything as you, so we're just coming into this little chair pose. Weight in the heels, taking a breath here. You can reach the fingers up towards the ceiling and exhale, come up and release the arms. And again, 
bringing the arms nice and wide, but bringing the shoulder blades together to make the arms come back. Cross over again, this time the other arm on the bottom. Coming again, like you're creating this resistance by bringing the back of the forearms towards each other as you lift the fingers and maybe lift the fingers a little tiny bit up. You're not bringing the shoulder blades or the shoulders up to your ears, however, just the arms, very small movement, and come back into your seated chair. So. Weight in the heels, pushing back. You're not arching though on the lower back. You're still keeping the ribs in. So you're not thrusting the ribs up, okay? Weight in the heels and push yourself up. Bring the arms up and come around. Clasp the hands behind you. Perhaps taking the hands away from the bum. And relax down, open the arms nice and wide again, bring the shoulder blades together, bring the arms down, other pinky on the bottom this time, and just bring the elbows in. You can lift the hands away from your bottom if that's available to you. Take a nice breath here. And Exhale, release. A little forward fold here. You can use a chair or something if you want for support. Otherwise, open the feet a little wider than hip width distance apart. It's going to up, be up to you where it's nice and comfortable. And we're just going to do a forward fold. So take a breath in. We're not arching up like this, remember. We're just going to fold, pushing our bum back, and we're just going to fold down. Put a little bit of a bend in your knees here. And then as you stay here folded over, and like I said, you could be holding a chair or anything here, I want you to kind of like press the knees back without the pelvis kind of lifting up. So the difference is, as I'm saying, press your knees back, but we're not going like this. We're not going up. I'm just staying like this and I'm kind of pushing the knees back without trying to raise the pelvis and I'll get a nice hamstring stretch here. So keep the chin nice and tough to keep a nice long neck and just playing around with that. So you can bend, unbend the knees and really enjoy this nice hamstring stretch. One more breath here and then come all the way up. Come to uh, the front of your mat in Tadasana or Samastitihi. It's standing, um, it's, a, it's your standing mountain pose. So coming to the front of your mat again, bringing the weight back into your heels. Chin slightly tucked, relax the belly, the pelvic floor, face and shoulders. Take a breath. Put the weight to your left foot now as you raise the right leg. Stay here for a moment. And as we step back into a lunge, I want you to put your hands onto your hip bones here and notice what happens. So we're gonna step this foot back and you're not trying to get back as far as you can, but you are gonna notice the foot that you step back, what happened to that um, hip bone? Did, are you forced to go really under? If so, just shorten up the stance. Hip bones, there may be some tilting here, of course, on the right with your with your pelvis, so it's a, doing a little bit of this. But if it's so much that it's really you're coming through the back to get the leg back, shorten your stance. So I got a bend in my front knee, and my knee is over my ankle. Hips forward, so you don't want to be out to the side. I always say plug this front leg in. And now we're going to raise the arms up in the air for warrior one. Take a breath. And then exhale and let your arms just drop down by the sides. Just let them swing. Notice my back foot is not flat on the floor, okay? You can have it flat on the floor if that feels comfortable, but it makes your foot kind of go at a little angle. Maybe put a bit of pressure on your knee. So I like having like I'm on two skis, so I'm up on the back toe, okay? 
We're going to bring the arms up again, warrior one. Mm, nice inhale, stretching the arms up overhead. And we're going to come right into warrior two. So you're going to pivot on that back foot here and open the arms out to the side. I'm going to turn around so you can see me on that back arm. So we were in warrior one, going right into warrior two. So you're just pivoting on that back. Set the back, the side of your foot's parallel with your mat. Front foot, wherever it feels comfortable. You might feel like your uh, heel is lined up to the arch. You might feel like it's more comfortable with heel to heel. So wherever that is, we're just gonna spend a little bit of time here just unbending and bending the knee just a couple of times. Staying with the breath. So I'm not coming over like this, okay? I'm torso is straight. And this knee may feel like it wants to come in, okay? Like, so push that leg out so that the knee is like around the middle toes, lined up with the toes. So coming into warrior two now, and we're gonna bring the arms up with palms facing up towards the sky. Take a breath here. Or a couple breaths here. We're going to do the bow and arrow. So take the back, back arm, bring it around and pull back. One more time, pull around, pull back, drop that left arm, bring the other arm up towards the ceiling. Exalted warrior, come down like the forearm onto the, fore, the, the top of the leg. I'm not just relaxing, collapsing, just barely touching, and then reach the other arm up towards the ceiling, or it can come over your ear here. Take a couple of breaths. And they come up. We're going to pivot that. Oh, no, sorry, we're not. <laughs> we're going to come around and come right into warrior three now. So you can unbend this knee if you want or keep it bent. We're going to pivot it over so that we're coming back into that warrior one. So we can even bring the arms up to warrior one. And then we're going to come into warrior three. So that's when you come off your back leg and you're balancing on this front leg, but bring the weight back into the heel still. This can be any version. It could be here. You could be all the way here. Arms extended or arms behind. You choose. So coming back out of that warrior three, I'm going to step back, open the legs wide. So the toes, toes are pointing out towards the side. We're coming into a little forward fold. So again, hinging at the hips, bum is going back, weight is in the heels, and fold over. You can have a little bit of a bend in the legs if that feels good. You could also have something, a bolster chair in front of you. You could also bend the legs a lot and bring your body all the way to the floor or without bending your knees as well and move out a little tiny bit. Hmm. breaths. Ah, bringing the weight in the heels, bend the knees and push yourself all the way up. We're going to go on the other side now. So we're just going to turn our foot. So our right foot now is at the top and we're back into this warrior one. Lifting our arms into warrior one. Take a breath here. Notice what's happening in the legs. Is your weight falling over to one side? Really push down into the front foot. Coming into warrior two now. So we're just pivoting on that back foot, bringing the arms out towards the sides, palms up towards the ceiling, couple internal and external rotations here with the arms. Move with the breath. Don't forget about the breath. Bow and arrow. I'll take the back arm, bring it forward, a little twist to the thoracic spine and pull back. 
twist and pull back. Now let this back arm fall into exalted warrior, arm up towards the ceiling or a little bit closer to the ear and then coming down, forearm onto leg and arm straight up towards the ceiling or over by the ear, feeling the stretch between the, the, thought, the rib and the hip. And come back, warrior two. Moving right into warrior three now. So we're gonna come back actually into warrior one first. So we're gonna come back into that warrior one. So pivot on your foot, make adjustments, hips forward. Uh, knee over the front ankle. You can have a nice bend in the back leg. Inhale, arms up. Warrior one. And now we're going to come right into warrior three. So you're going to lunge off this back leg. And warrior three. For, never forget that you can use this or something. I mean, a chair, any kind of support to hold you here. And again, come back down. Let's go back into that warrior one. And we'll do that one more time. Arms up. Exhale, lunging off the back. Warrior three. Coming back down now. So nice and slow. So I like to unhinge as I, as I step back. <laughs> Arms up, warrior one again. Exhale and come down, pivot on that foot. So we have two feet coming forward now. Toes are gonna to go off a little bit at an angle and we're gonna come into that forward fold. You can open the legs wider when you get down, make any adjustments. I like to walk my hands out, my fingers are on the floor. No arch in the lower back and I'm not thrusting my ribs. I'm letting the head just drop. This is uh, just should be very comfortable and no pain or discomfort. Make the adjustments that you need. You can bring the floor up to you by placing your hands on a pillow. But release the head, take a couple breaths. Be careful not to get dizzy as you come up. So just take your time. I like to bend in my knees and kind of come up from a squat. So then push myself up from a squat, arms up in the air, palms together and come down in prayer. Another one, inhale, come up. Exhale, in prayer. I'm going to pivot my feet a little bit together and come down into a little squat. That might be two. So get that distance and come down into a squat. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, push. Arms up into prayer. Inhale, exhale down. Inhale, push. Arms up. Exhale, hands in prayer. Gonna come all the way down to the floor now. So take a breath in. And then exhale, we're gonna try to come down as low as we can go. You may need to adjust your feet, make them wider, closer together. Let me see if you can come all the way to the floor. <sighs> Seated now, you're going to take your hands onto your knees and we're going to come into a couple of cat cows. So seated cat cow starting at the pelvis, I'm tucking the pelvis under. And then starting with the pelvis again, I'm untucking the pelvis and moving up the spine, nice and slow, inhale. And again, exhale, roll. And inhale, starting with the pelvis, move up the spine. 
and big inhale here. Pulling the chest between the shoulder blades. Starting with the pelvis again, tucking under, moving up the spine, curling chin towards the chest. Inhale, rocking the same way, come back up. And exhale, one more time. And inhale into seated. A little twist, hands on the thoracic spine, twist to the left, take a breath. And exhale, twist to the other side. Inhale and exhale, release. We're going to come onto our hands and knees. Hands underneath the shoulders. Fingers nice and wide, knees underneath the hips. Just a little bit of hip shimmy from side to side. Coming right into downward dog, but let's get our shoulders nice and ready. So first, what we're going to do is just do a couple rhomboid push-ups. So letting my, my, my elbow pits are kind of forward. So coming forward is because I had that wrapping feeling happening in my shoulders. My shoulder blades are flat against my back. Now I'm going to just do a couple rhomboid push-ups. So letting the shoulder blades come together and then push the shoulder blades apart without moving the arms. So moving with the breath a couple times. And then the next time that you're low, shoulder blades flat against your back, we're going to come into a downward dog. I'm going to come in by going into a um, plank first. So I'll bring one foot and then the other. I'm holding the plank for a sec. Take a breath, exhale, and then we're moving through the shoulders, the hips, bend in the knees. I'm going to move in this downward dog. So I'm going to pedal the feet. I'm going to relax my neck. So like my, my, my view is between my knees, my, between my legs. I'm letting the neck completely relax. Shoulders are nice and solid. And I feel my hands are pressing the weight equally all um, throw my hands into the floor. And now we're going to come right into plank again. And this time in plank, you can be on your knees if you want, but if you can hold yourself up, I'm going to lift one leg, bring it down and lift the other leg. One more time. Inhale, exhale, lift leg. Inhale, exhale, lift leg. I'm not lifting it beyond my pelvis. I'm not moving my pelvis, just lifting the leg. Downward dog or child's pose. And same with that kind of feeling we did with the hamstring stretch. I'm just going to have a generous bend in my knees. And I'm not going to try to lift my pelvis as much as I am going to just try to straighten my legs a little. And exhale back into plank and then come down onto our knees and come into a quick child's pose here. Whatever version of child's pose that you enjoy, we're going to just be here for a couple of breaths. Let the body relax and notice those places that have tensed up. Release all those, release all that tension, the gripping. Take all the time you need. And whenever you're ready, you can come back into downward dog. So this time, 
You can try doing your downward dog with a little bit of a wider, wider hand. So just to see how that feels. Maybe that would feel a little bit better. Still doing that wrapping, so bringing the elbow hips forward. And now I'm going to come back into that plank and downward dog. So just moving through the shoulders, bending the knees a little bit, moving through the hips. Neck nice and relaxed. You can pedal the downward dog or you can have it nice and still and take nice five nice breaths here. Come back into plank when you're ready. Lifting one leg, take a breath, exhale, release. Lift the other leg. You can be on your knees, remember doing this. You can just lift your leg out, bring it down, and lift the other leg out. Not over the pelvis, pelvis is staying where it is. Now bring the knees together, the, top, the feet together, the heels, and we're going to walk our hands back to sit on our feet. I like to widen the toes or, yeah, move the toes out to widen them. And come back to our breath. We're going to take our right arm now with inhale. We're going to lift the arm up. And you're going to kind of come back and you can lean back or if you want to have something behind you if you can't reach the floor that's fine and we're coming back reach one arm up exhale inhale bring the other arm up so we're kind of just leaning back if this is too much for your toes you don't have to be on your toes you can come down if you want inhale Exhale, inhale, arm up. Exhale, inhale, the other arm up. And if you want, you can even extend yourself up. So if you do need to open your knees or anything a little wider so you have them close together, please do so. Find what's comfortable for you. So bringing up our left arm and we're really lifting ourselves up okay so you want to lift straight up so we're not coming towards the side or anything like that we're just lifting getting some work in the quads one more on each side inhale lift And come down, come back onto our hands and knees. And we're going to come onto our forearms now. So the elbows are underneath the shoulders, hands are wide. Just make any adjustments you need. Remember, we're not collapsing down. So I'm not putting this big arch and bum up to the ceiling with my roots thrusted, keeping everything in. Inhale. We're going to just move our bodies back now. So I'm just moving my arms back. So we're not moving my arms back. I'm moving my bum back and getting that movement and that feeling in the shoulders. That nice mobility stretch around the shoulders. And come forward again. That breath. Exhale, moving the arms back again, or moving your bum back, getting the movement. Because the reason I'm saying arms is it feels like I'm stretching my arms, right? And I feel that movement in the shoulders. And come back up. Flip your palms so the palms are facing up towards the ceiling, and then move back again. Up, take a breath, 
Exhale, move the bum back towards the heels again. And stretching the hands. And come back. Come back into hands and knees. A little shake and a little wiggle. And we're gonna come right onto our bums now. So coming onto our bums, we're gonna relax back into our arms. You can have the fingertips, po fingers pointed away from you, or you, if it feels comfortable to have them towards you, you can, but that's <laughs> not very comfortable for me. So we're kind of in this boat position now. And all we're going to do, so you're really resting back in your arms, but you're not like collapsed in your arms like this, okay? So and what we're going to do is we're going to lift one leg and push, put it down. So you can lift some bending and unbending in the knee and bring it down. Relax the belly before you begin. Inhale and then exhale, lift. Inhale, drop and move to the other leg. I'll notice a little bit of shaking perhaps. Now this time we're gonna lift the right and invite the left to join it. So you can see I don't really have a lot, I'm not like really, really weighing down in my hands. I just have my hands here for support. And then I'm gonna drop the left and drop the right. Make sure you breathe, come back to that place of ease. Raise the right and then raise the left. Have a breath. Let, drop the right, drop the left, raise the left, raise the right. Breath, right, lower the left, lower the right, raise the right and raise the left. Lower the right and lower the left, raise the left and raise the right. Lower the left, lower the right. Raise the right and raise the left. If this is too much, go back to the first, okay? Just leaving the one foot down, the one leg down. And release. I'm gonna move all the way back. So come down onto your elbows, come down onto your backs and have something underneath your head. Come back, relax here, come back to this place of ease, let go of all the gripping. If you want, we're coming into a couple bridge poses, but if you want, you can have, um, we went through this before, where you can have a block between your legs and press the block if that helps. Some people like to put the strap around their legs and push out on the strap to right come up. Just giving a couple options. We, most important things, we want the glutes to engage here, okay? Another option, you're pressing down on the feet like you're pulling the feet towards you. So energetically moving the feet towards you without moving the feet towards you as you raise up. Keep your hands. I like to take thumb and index finger or middle finger and put it on the hips and the ribs and I invite them to move up together in one piece. Hold here, take a breath. Exhale, bring the hips and the ribs down together, keeping and maintaining that lower arch in the back. Inhale, rise, stay here. And just see if you can lift one leg. So we're gonna press down on the left, really press into that heel, feel all the engagement in the glutes, and then see if you can lift that right leg. So I'm keeping that leg even and in line with the bottom leg. So bringing it down, you can take a rest in between, make sure you come down, maintaining that lower arch. Do not flatten the lower back to the floor. Even as you come up, you're not flattening the back. So you're not tucking your pelvis under, flattening that lower back. You're pressing down through the 
Feel like you're pulling the heels. Feel the engagement as you come up. Maintain that engagement. So maintain that pull of your feet towards your bottom, towards your body. And now, nice strong right leg. Feel pressed down, feeling the glutes engage. If it's available to you, see if you can lift the leg. It may not be. If not, you can even try coming up just on the toe. Just taking a little bit of weight off. So just coming up on one toe and then the other. And come up on both toes, lower them, and come all the way down. We're going to do that again on each side. Inhale, come up. Pulling the feet towards, feeling the engagement. Lifting now, pressing down to the left. And I'm trying to do this without the whole body moving all over the place. Reaching the leg out. Come down. Push up. Inhale. Left leg extend. You could even come down with the left leg extended. Extend the other leg. Cross the left leg over the right. Stay here for a second and let the body just relax down. We've probably tensed around the jaw and the shoulders, around the belly. Release, cross over the other side. Uncross, bend your knees again, feet on the floor. Get yourself situated, feeling the back, ribs on the floor, arching the lower back. Bringing up the right leg, a little internal external rotation first to the hip. And when you're externally rotated, drop the ankle onto the leg. And then raise that foot off the floor. Do not let the lower back flatten to the floor. You're only bringing that leg up as far as you can without losing integrity in the back, okay? We don't want the lower back helping you get your leg up. So if you flatten your back right now, you could bring that knee closer to you. But we want to maintain that arch and you'll feel the nice stretch around the hips. Release. Move to the other side. Pushing that leg open a little bit, the top leg. So it may want to just come forward. So you're just keeping it open and then raising the right leg. Come back to your breath and releasing everything else. release of that foot. The legs could be remain bent or they can go straight. We're just going to reach the two arms up towards the ceiling and I'm going to reach the right and then lower that shoulder blade and reach from the other shoulder blade. So I'm really reaching up towards the ceiling, alternating left and right and move with the breath. One more time on each side. Arms nice and wide out by your sides. Snow angels. So we're just going to bring the arms up. My fingers are touching the floor and come back down. So 
just making four angels, like snow angels here with our arms. Inhale as the arms come overhead and exhale as they come down by your sides. Don't worry if the hands don't touch the floor. Rest your hands on your belly. I'm just going to do a little shake up and down. So I have my feet still planted on the floor and I'm just like moving my body back and forth, like up and back. And as you do this, I want you to think as though you're rocking yourself into relaxation. So every exhale, you're just releasing a little more. The rock becomes a little lighter. You can outstretch your legs if you want or keep them as they are and continue with that little movement, that little up and down. So I'm just moving my feet forward and back and it's a little relaxed. It's a little relaxed motion feeling, starting to relax in the body. So I'm just letting everything relax around the jaw, around the head, the forehead, the space between the eyes. Still perhaps little rocks as you slow whenever you're ready into stillness. Any last movement you need or you want. Let everything relax now as we move into Shavasana. Relaxing the face, the space between the eyes. Head sinking into the earth, feeling heavy. And back of the neck. Feeling the front of the throat relax. Space all around the eyes and the forehead, moving down the cheek. Space between the teeth, perhaps a space between the lips. With every exhale, you're letting go a little more, a little more. Allowing the parasympathetic nervous system to cut in the rest and relax stage. Do not have to be sleeping for this. The idea is to bring your body and your mind to this place of ease and softness. To be able to begin our days In this space. Almost feeling as though your whole body is being engulfed by the earth around you. You're just sinking restfully into the earth. You can imagine that you're not actually on your floor, but you're outside. And that it's warm and you're comfortable. Sun shining down and warming your face. Arms relax. Shoulders relax. The back and front relaxed. Feeling all even the little muscles 
release. Giving your body and your mind permission to be still. To notice. Notice how we feel. Notice the breath. Noticing the sounds, smells, noticing how your body feels against the earth, Allow the thoughts to just come and go. Really feel like you're indulging in this stillness. This relaxed state. time to set an intention for the rest of your day. And remember, it's so nice and important to bring this into your everyday life where you just take a moment some time to sit in stillness. Find that place of ease, that space of contentment, gratitude, just taking the time to connect to what's around you. Try to relax again, every part. Notice if there's any place still Gripping, holding on, and let that go. I wish you all a beautiful, beautiful day. Stay here for as long as you want. I really look forward to seeing you again in the next class.